Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshire Media. I am Mark, your host, your presenter, whatever you want me to be. And what are we going to be talking about today? Well, we're going to be talking about, I'm doing a new series called, this will be called History Corner with Mark. So, this is History Corner with Mark. Talking about, you know, buildings with history, if I can find the history and things like that. And I found the history on the old Regal Cinema. So I thought I'd do what I call a follow-up video and give you the full history of the building and, and my reasons why this building should not, not be demolished. But it's a losing battle, as we all know, because that's what's going to happen to the old Regal to ABC cinema. But I thought I'd give you the history because some people say I'm wrong. Um, but I'm going to give you the history in, in any case. Not a, right, this, this is it. Not as large as some ABC house, houses. The Regal accommodated 1,594, but had a full stage of 26 feet, 7.9 metres deep, behind the 43, 13 metres wide, Pocinium, Pocinium. ABC Cinema Wakefield, like I say, its capacity... In audience with a single screen, 1,594. Current use, it's derelict. Opened up 9th of December 1935, close 1997. Right. So, I'm going to give you the history. The ABC, the ABC Cinema Wakefield is a district cinema in Wakefield, West Yorkshire. It is in... It is... It is in Kirkgate on the corner of the Sun Lane. It is an Art Deco building that was designed by Associated British Cinemas by in-house architect William R. Glenn and opened as the Regal Cinema on 9th of December 1935. And, and, so 1935, then tonight, 1962... To 1986 and 97, it was regal until 96, and Canon took over in 1986 and 97. Disused cinema at night. Uh, ABC Cinema 1935 86. It, it opened its doors, like I say, at 9th of December, and then it closed. Uh, it was rebuilt in 1976, divided into a Three screen complex. So it was only a single, it all began in 1935 with that one single screen. Like I said, and it was built purposely as a cinema. There's no double use at all like that. Not, like, not as large as some later ABC houses. The uh, regular accommodate like uh, 1,594, but had a full stage, 26 feet, 7.9 metres deep, behind the 43. 43 feet, 13 metre wide, Pocinium. The interior was rather plainer than the many of Glenn's cinemas with concealed lighting under the balcony and at the rear of the ceiling and pendant fittings casting light upwards towards the front of the cinema. It was renamed ABC in 19, 1962. And in 1976, it was divided into three screens with screen one seating 532 in the balcony using the original screen and projection suite and screen two, 236 seats and screen three, 170 seats in the, in the rear stalls area in this form. It, it reopened on 11th of November 1976. And in 1986, ABC cinemas were sold to the Canon Group in December 1996, Cineworld opened and the multiplex in Wakefield and in 1997 the ABC closed. So, so you see, the Cineworld opened in 1996, that closed a year after. In 2007, Blockbuster Entertainment sought planning permission to convert the building into 119, one of two bedroom flats, eight shops and a rooftop garden in 2009 the city of Wakefield granted planning permission but the project did not go ahead in December to file property company PS and F P and S Limited applied for planning permission 
to demolish the building and replace it with a modern apartment block. Plans to demolish the building and replace it with a car park with, were withdrawn in 2019. In 2020, the site was sold and bought by Wakefield Council, which announced plans in June 2021 to demolish the cinema and turn the site into temporary green space until new building is designed. So that's it. That is, yeah, Lane. The, you know, yeah, yeah, it, it's the former cinema on Kirk will make way for new homes and shops. Wakefield Express, Johnston Press, 7th of December, retrieved 22 of December 2013. So that's what's going to happen. It, it, it's going to be demolished. I mean, I mean, we've lost the fight for it um, and things like that. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is what I'm going to say about Wakefield Council. Wakefield Council deliberately left it this long. I mean, it it's, it shut down in 1997. It's been 25 years since it's been emptied and shut. Uh, obviously, you've heard that plans were meant to go ahead and convert the building. Now, if Blockbuster had converted the building, it would still be standing. It, yeah, it, it, we won't be talking about it today. But they didn't. It didn't go ahead. Now, Wakefield Council want to demolish it which is uh, okay yeah i mean and that <laughs> yeah a 1935 art deco building is to be you know demolished and made way and, and there's a lot of people who say no 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 and i said it i did sign the petition to try and save it and that's what i that's what people at wakefield were trying to do he saved this building now I got a lot of now as you know I did a, I did a walkabout video yesterday on the cinema, and if you watched that, then you'll understand where I'm coming from with this and that. And I got I think it was two comments. What was it? Oh well, no, no, it it, it needs to be knocked down and made way. All of Kyrgyz needs to be destroyed. Well, I don't agree with that. I mean, when you think about it, you're looking at history. You're looking 1935. It's Art Deco. It's history. It was purposely. It's the first purpose-built cinema in Wakefield, basically in nineteen thirty-five. Single screen it had. You know, can you imagine one screen seen nineteen thirty-five cinemas and that? Um, the Secret Vault made a video of going inside. Yeah, you know, getting inside it, which I'm grateful for. I'm glad he's done it. Um, he made the mistake. Well. He did make the mistake in saying, oh, it's a W cinema. No, it's not. It, it was never a W cinema. Never, ever, ever. You know what I mean? Like I said, it, it, it started life as the Regal single screen, and that's where it started. And as you heard, in 1976, it was divided into three because it had a bigger audience, and, and they wanted three screens. So that's what they did. But it didn't increase the capacity. Yeah, it's still the same capacity, 1,594, He's just had to split it up into three screens, <laughs> which made, made it really odd, but that's what they did. And it worked for for a while. I, I mean, I can remember, you know, three-year-old going to that cinema as it was as a single screen. I, I can remember that. And I can remember right up to when I was 10, when I couldn't go in because it had been shut. And then it reopened. And when it reopened, it were a three-screen complex. And I can remember going there with my dad watching, like, Convoy and... Um, you know, um, you know, Clint Eastwood films and things like. Last time a film I saw in there before it shut was Air Force One. You know, it's a building what should never, ever, ever be destroyed. It should never, ever be demolished, in my opinion. But uh, according to the council, now I was told that the old complex around it would be demolished, like all the pubs and the pub and and and, and Wilkinsons. And then I got told, well, whoever, and I told them will tell me, I'm not going to say here, but he says, well, they're wrong, because it's only the cinema what, what is supposed to go. So it's so so the cinema itself will, will be demolished. Now, we don't know when, it'll be sometime in 2022. I'm trying to find out when it will be demolished and what month, so I can go down and film it, you know, you know see them start knocking it down and, and demolishing it. It's going to be sad times, because... There's been a lot of buildings in Wakefield. What could have been saved and demolished? Uh, well, take one, what's been recently demolished, and that's Clayton Hospital. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, well, that had to be demolished. Well, 
Yeah, but why? Because you're going to, you know, it would have been turned into accommodation, but they wanted to demolish it, so they can build accommodation, which that's what's going to happen eventually. Um, and then, before that, though, there were, you know, you know if you live in Wakefield, you'll know the next one I'm going to mention. You know, does people remember Chantry House in Wakefield and the, uh, the old DHS and County Court? Oh, that got knocked. Everything of that got pulled down. Uh, you know, you know, the county court on the old DHS building went first, which I knew it would because it was a concrete monstrosity, <laughs> which no one lost love about. And Chantry House had to go, and that was a great big concrete monstrosity. So that had to go. I mean, I, yeah, so they so they knocked that down, and I have got pictures of it before they knocked it. Eh, thank God. But that's what they did. They knocked it down. Now, you know, now you can see the site opened up as it is. But there's a lot of stuff what has been knocked and like, like, like working, you know, sitting working men's club and, and things like that. In East Moor working men's club, oh, that's gone. You know what I mean? We, yeah, you know, they literally, I, I mean, when I were a child, down Bottom of Kirgit, where old, where Alfred's is now, there used to be rows and rows of buildings there, you know, complex of shops at one time. Um, I remember getting fish and chips from down, you know, right, right down on Bottom of Kirgit before they made it a through road. And things like that. But all that got knocked and demolished when I was a, a child. So there were a lot going on. Um, according to Wakefield Council, they want to regenerate the city centre of Wakefield. And I'm thinking, they want to make it small. And now I'm thinking, why do you want to do that? Yeah, I, I mean, we should be proud of what we've got. And I did making in the comments, I did make to someone, well, if, 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 Wakefield Trinity Walk is the best they can build, then Wakefield's in big trouble. Because it is. That is a concrete monstrosity. I mean, they knocked down the old market house. They took away the marketplace. Well, yeah, the outside market. They literally got rid of all that and then flattened the old market house to build that. Yeah, you know, that is ridiculous. Yeah, you know, now we haven't got an outside market. What, what, what can't, could have? generated a lot more money because before they knocked it they were having regular car boots on there and they were literally and how do i know they were having car, regular car boots that's how i used to do it and um, they used to do you know and things like that uh, and they'll market house yeah i mean you know i remember petition for that that should never have been knocked but it was it was not the promise to build you know we will build you a a, a, a brand new market hall and, and bigger and better and we'll put a you know, a library on top. That never happened. Never, ever. Never happened. You know what I mean? What did we get? We got old bus station knocked down, a piddly, piddly, piddly little market house on it. Uh, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, you know, small inside and a small outside market. And then new bus station. Wait, wait, wait. You know? So if this is the best what Wakefield can do, and then I, I think they should give up cause, because we're in trouble. And things like that. I understand the need for accommodation, but not at the expense of, of an 80, over 80 year old building. You know what I mean? It is disgusting. Is this is what we come to now? Oh, if we don't want it, we demolish it. Really? It is disgusting. You know, you, know, you, you just don't do it. Especially at Art Deco. Especially from that period. You know what I mean? We, you know, you know Wakefield Council have bulldozed a lot of our history away. This is not the answer. The answer is that they should have saved it. I mean, they saved the old opera house, which they did. They, they saved that. They, then a charity got involved in saving Unity House over the road from the opera house. And that, um, at one bit, at, at one time, I mean, when I were a child in the 1970s, we did have two cinemas. We had one on Westgate. People can't remember it. But it's where the nightclubs are. So where Rooftop Gardens is and what used to be that sports bar in Mustang Sally, that used to be a cinema because it says, you know, it, it, it was a playhouse to begin with and then they turned it into a, into a cinema. And, and it, you know, and that were more modern than the 19, than, than the Regal or the ABC or Canon Cinema in Wakefield or, or Kirgit. And that. And, and don't forget, they knocked down the old Sun Lane Bass, but they rebuilt, they, they built a new one, you know what I mean? Now, the only thing I can determine on why they're insisting in knocking down this building is because we have two cinemas in Wakefield. You know what I mean? 
I wouldn't want to use the cinema because you could have gutted it and they could have made it and I'm telling you now that that could have been made in, into uh, you know a little market house you know it would have looked fantastic done out you know walking through it going in and buying some yeah brick and brick and things like that or they could have turned it into accommodation like blockbusters were going to do but to wipe it completely off off the face of the earth is in my mind wrong we're living with a generation of being a chuck away society and now they're chucking away buildings you know what i mean this is the thanks we have with a labor council unfortunately we don't have a conservative mp anymore because he resigned because he didn't agree to what boris johnson was doing and also i think he was bullied as well i think boris will you know he, he, he basically bullied i think so he resigned so at the moment we haven't got a conservative mp in wakefield at all um so we're under a labor council now i know labor i know labor councils can be a bit harsh well this has been too harsh it, it really is i mean i hope they've done it legally and i hope they've done it properly because if we find out after it's been demolished no they shouldn't have done it i don't think they should do it yeah gut it inside out yeah they, they, they should gut it inside out but they should never ever 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 really pull it down it can be reused for something else even i know that it's got enough yeah i mean and that but you know the yeah he does say on the doors to be demolished in 2022 but he doesn't say what month or all like that i like to know because i like to go down and uh film it film it happening you know it, it'll be a tear in my eye that is my childhood going up in smoke basically that is all my childhood that is all the happy memories i've ever had we were going to the cinema. I mean, I, mean, I, I can remember when, when I first went to the cinema. I remember watching Herbie Goes Bananas there. I can remember a lot of films of what I've seen. I've seen Jaws 2 there. I've, um, and things like that. I've seen James Bond films there. You know, The Spy Who Loved Me and things like that. What else have I seen there? Oh, yeah. Clint Eastwood, Any Which Way But Loose. I've seen that. Any Which Way But Any Which Way You Can. I've seen that there. I've seen a hell of a lot of films there. Um, but like what the secret of all said, once it's gone, it's gone. You know what I mean? So it is disgusting to what's going on, and I don't really appreciate people saying, "Oh well, it should go." No, I don't think it should. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, you know, I think these people who want that particular thing gone. I think they would like to see the old city centre gone, <laughs> you know, and rebuild, but that will never do you know what i mean i mean i mean i know people don't like the high rise flats in down in kirk but to me that's what makes our skyline it is how can i put it it it's a landmark what i remember from from a child all these high rise buildings and that and i can't see them being flattened anytime soon which i can't uh the council are too much invested in it you know what i mean but i wouldn't like to see any from from wilkinson's upward I wouldn't like to see anything being demolished. It should be saved. That is the oldest part of the city centre of Wakefield. Is, is that is that running on Bot McCurgy? You know, right from that bridge where Grey Horse used to stand. Because on the understanding that the Grey Horse uh, uh, has been demolished, by the way. So from there up, you've got the old Kirgit. So you go past Alfred's, and as you walk, you know, you, you go past the old building what used to be CM Eastwood, the old building what used to be Magnet, and then you come to the corner, Kingfisher, uh, Chemist, and then the post office, and then so on and so on, until you get up to the roundabout where, where it used to be. We used to call it Tesco's Round because they used to have a Tesco. So now it's Wilkins, it's Wilco's. That's there now. And then as you're walking up, you know, you had your pub and your food and things like that. And I don't know what they're trying to do. I know they're trying to make the city centre with less shops. Well, in my mind, you won't, uh, you won't need to do this if the city of Wakefield's council, you know, had reasonable rents on the shops in the, in the first place. It's great what's doing this, I'll tell you that. It, it's great what's generated that they need more people. Um, but... To me, it's the rents of the shop. They are a lot of shops what are empty in the riding centre. It's I mean, I remember when the ridings were built. I mean, they used an existing buildings at either side of it and built a canopy over top. 
I can remember when that was created. Yeah, you know, the, the, they were used in existing buildings. A lot of people say, no, they haven't. It says, yes, they have. They use a lot of existing buildings, which I know they have. And it's so high up and things like that. And then they use the car park. Oh, no, it's brand new. No, it isn't. It, it's part, yeah, part of it's brand new. The first part where you go, yes, it is brand new. But the part you come out of is the old Asda car park. What used to be the Asda car park. You know what I mean? Now it's the riding car park. But when that was designed, I mean, I, I didn't feel bad at all because I knew there were no buildings to be demolished. <clears throat> and they designed it, they did really well. And it, and that, that that first riding shopping centre won awards. It, it really did. Um, and things like that. And then when Chow Wayne, down, down where the cathedral industrial estate is now, where Cuddy's is and things like that, where I go to see I go something, you know, that used to be Chow Wayne Council Officers and, and Boys and Girls School. I was a bit peeved about that being knocked because that was an old, but that that was knocked and turned into what it is today, and things like that. So there's been a lot of upheaval in Wakefield over the years. Um, but Kirgit said that is the oldest part of the city centre. Um, why would you want to see that destroyed? I I wouldn't. I mean, it was redeveloped back in nineteen seventies. I mean, can you remember Carnell's? You know, Carnell's big showroom, Carnell. Look, it's a car park now. You know, I'm, I'm just turn it on to George Street, it, it, it's a car park. And then you've got Mr. Chip, what, you know, Mr. Chip's Chippy, and things like that. And then as you go up, you used to have all oh, Ingham Sports, now that's gone. There's no Ingham Sports, there's, there's no Alphas there anymore, and things like that. And then as you're going up and round, they used to eat dog and gum there, and, and, and news agents and things like that. And then if you looked on the other side, there used to be small price toy shop, Woolworths, it's all gone, it's all changed, um, and things like that, I mean you've got six chimneys there now, and things like that, it, it's all changed, I mean where they should be changing it, they're not, <laughs> and I don't know why, but, you know what I mean, they, they do need to change the, the, the whole aspect of it, I, I, I realise that, but what I don't really, at, at what expense, why would you want to Redevelop the whole of the city centre, you know, town, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, city centre shopping. <laughs> you wouldn't, you know what I mean? What are you going to build it out of? Concrete? You're going to take all the character away from it? You're going to take all our history away from it? It's disgusting. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with taking having characterless buildings there. You know what I mean? And there is quite a few characterless buildings around Wakefield City Centre, which there is. You know what I mean? I can't wait to see what they do with old police station on Wood Street. I uh, mean, uh, are they going to knock it or are they going to use it? We don't know. And things like that. But talking about the ABC cinema, it's gonna, it, it will be a sad day when that finally gets demolished. There's going to be a lot of tears shed over that. I mean, I've shed a few tears myself. Yeah, I know it sounds stupid, but I have a lot of emotional memories in, invested in that cinema. I really do. You know what I mean? It's unbelievable. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, mean, I just wish a businessman had come in and save it, but it was never to be. It was never going to happen that way, unfortunately. But unfortunately, like I said, we have a Wakefield Council. I don't think the businessmen knew, because if they were, they could see the opportunity of it. I know they've seen the opportunity of it being demolished because they're going to put accommodation. And that's what they want to do. They, they want to put accommodation on it. I'm thinking, really? <laughs> so fine so that's what they're going to do and, and there's nothing what well, we've tried to you know you know people at Wakefield have tried to to stop this and un unfortunately so far we failed I mean I, I remember signing a petition I mean it's been left de derelict for 25 years <laughs> and it's been done deliberately as far as I'm concerned Wakefield City Council have deliberately left it derelict for 25 years so they could say Oh well, there's nothing we can do with it now, it's too damp. Which it is too damp, because if you watch the Secret Vaults video about it, the um, basement has got four foot of water. So, you know, it, it, it's definitely needs. It, it, it will definitely go. So we can't really save it. What I'm saying is Wakefield Council need to think before they act on other buildings. Really do, you know, at, at the end of the day. 
because there's buildings around Wakefield. What could stay up? They could take the top floors off and rebuild them. But there's a lot of buildings in Wakefield. What could be reused as something else? If it's not going to be a shop, it could be something else. You know what I mean? Yeah. They could make it into a, 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 you know, you know, a, a shop unit or somewhere to live for someone. And it's as simple as that, really. Uh, so that's my... So that's... My little chat out of the way, I feel a lot better now that I've unloaded myself up from that. You know what I mean? I, and that, but yeah, I, I do realise this is going to happen. And a lot of people will be happy that it's gone. Unfortunately, there'll be a hell of a lot more people what will be angry and annoyed and really upset that it has gone. Me, Me's one of them. Because it's, you know, it's design we'll never see again. Uh, it's an architect we won't hear of ever again. And things like that. So, thank you for watching. If you have liked this particular video, please give me a thumbs up. Please like the video. Please subscribe if you're new. It's free to subscribe, so you might as well subscribe. Yeah, you know I mean, hit that bell icon on it all, and that will let you know when I'm putting up another video. So, please subscribe. Please share the video to your friends and your family and to other social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You know international space station or anything like that and please please comment below and i'll catch you on the next video bye for now bye